Hi, my name is Andrew Lowe. I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS expert here at Javelin Technologies, and in this installment of our video series on tips and tricks for consumer product design, we're going to take a look at how we can go about building a very nice crown surface. And this surface is kind of going to be indicative of the kind that's found on the back of an iPad. This is a industrial design cue that's very popular nowadays with a lot of products, and it's relatively easy to go about building in SOLIDWORKS. So here I've created a small sketch on the top plane. And what I'm going to do is actually build a quarter of my product because it's going to be symmetrical along both the front and the right planes. So I'm going to turn these two lines into construction lines. And now by dimensioning between the line and the construction line, I can add the double distance. Maybe let's make 180. What I'm going to do is use my sketch fillet tool and I'm going to spec the radius for my corner. So now I have an actual radius, but remember this is a tangent radius. I was going to have slightly better control over it. So let's increase this to uh, 30, looks a little bit too big. Let's try 20. That looks really nice. So what I'm going to do is turn this fillet into four construction. And now I can just use it to control the size of a spline that's fit between these two points. Now I'm going to select my first line and my second line. I'm going to add the equal curvature relation. And likewise here. And this is going to allow me a little more control than just the tangent. And it's going to look a little nicer. I'm going to show my curvature combs. And what I want to do now is tweak the overall these handles just drag them a little bit so I have a really nice smooth kind of shape. Then we can make it peek out a little bit. I think that'll be nice. So I'm going to exit my sketch now and I'm going to create an extruded surface. Here let's spec maybe a distance of 5 millimeters. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a second plane that's going to be parallel with my top plane. And this will be the overall width of the device. Let's just uh, spec 11 here. Now on this plane, I'm going to start a sketch. And what I'm going to do is once again draw that corner rectangle starting from the origin. Set these lines to construction. And maybe dimension this distance here. So let's have a 15 mil transition. My fillet tool again. I'll just keep the default radius to this fine. And once again, I'm going to convert to construction and then use the spline tool to build that spline in between and finally set it equal curvature and equal curvature. I'm going to graph show my curvature combs again. I'm just going to tweak the shape like I did before. Just, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect here. Now I can go in. I actually needed these lines for or as solid geometry, not construction lines, because I'm going to use this and build a planar surface out of this contour. So I now have the basis for the crown, and I need to go and actually build these in-between surfaces. I'm going to hide the plane, and let's use the boundary surface tool. So we've used this before to manually build a fillet, and once again boundary from one edge to another, and I'm going to select curvature to face here, but I'm going to leave my normal, my second edge as none. I would like to have contact continuity here. And then I'm going to use my handle, and just drag out a nice looking contour here. Looks good to me. And finally I'll use the boundary surface again on the other side. face and curvature to face. And once again, oh, sorry, I'm going to use none here because I want that contact. So I'm going to grab my handle and drag it out roughly to where I was before. I can actually manually spec a value here. So I'm going to use the same value I used before. And in our next lesson, we're going to look and see what we need to do to clean up this tricky corner here. Corners are some of the hardest kind of fillets to build, and we'll have a separate video for that. Thanks for joining us.